Explain like I'm five how does fantasy football work? And why are so many US men obsessed with it? European here. I have heard of the concept of fantasy football, but never quite gotten what is so appealing about it. How it works you pick players from different teams. And why grown woe men are willing to dedicate hours of their life to it. Please explain. You build a team out of all the players in the league from every team. Making what you think might be the best team that season. Season goes on. Your players' performance in their games reflect on your fantasy team. As you go through the season with your team, you get more points than your buddies and win the fantasy season. We do have that in Europe as well. Fantasy Premier League and Fantasy Champions League are particularly popular. It's just a game. The one thing that does seem different is that at least from the media it seems that Americans take it way more seriously. But it just might be an exaggeration. Wait a minute how come you did not notice that a ton of European men are obsessed with it? Not just guys. My daughter, 32, was talked into participating by her brothers. She liked football anyway, but she really researched the players. And now she dominates their league. I think you are severely overestimating the amount of time it takes to take care of your fantasy team. I'm in four leagues and spend a grand total of about 15 minutes on it every week. Most of them while I sit on the toilet. It just make the games more interesting. The same reason you dedicate hours of your life to your hobbies. What sort of question was the second part? Op, don't you know fantasy football is massive in Europe too? And worldwide huge. In Italy is famous with the name Fantacalcio. It's so famous there is a dedicated section in the soccer newspapers. In the town near mine there's a tournament and you can win a good amount of money. The game is easy you do an auction at the start and in the middle of the season with all the soccer players of the all team of the actual season with a defined amount of point decided from a soccer newspaper. Every week you have a match against your team opponent add in the vote of the players and who have the higher amount receive 3 point and 1 point for draw. To add to what others have said you pick players at different positions. Each player can generate points for your team based on achieving certain stats in a real world game. For example, a running back might earn points for every touchdown he gets but might also earn points for every 10 yards he rushes, and might lose points for any turnovers he's responsible for. Generally, you do not pick individual players on defense but rather a team's defense, which earns points based on generating turnovers, defensive scoring, and limiting the opposing team to a certain amount of points yards. You also get fantasy football soccer that is huge in the UK. I'm not sure why you're baffled by this. People like to pit their knowledge of the sport and league against others and compete on this. Similar to pub quizzes and any other competitive games. There's not much to explain. They do it because they think it is fun. There's also often a social component to it. It's no harder to understand than why lots of people spend hours playing video games. I asked the same question and I'm currently in a league myself lol. Got into it bc a friend ask if I want to try. Honestly it's boring af. I just don't know why people enjoy it so much. I'm an American man who loves American football but I do not understand fantasy football and to be. Honest hearing people talk about it is terribly annoying. Why grown woe men are willing to dedicate hours of their life to it? To focus on this part it's basically a season-long form of sports betting but instead of playing. Against odds and spreads set by Vegas in fantasy sports people are playing against their friends or co-workers that are in their league. Depending on the league the money wagered may be a lot or it may be a low amount with the real price. Being bragging rights for picking a good team that year. As a European, 
has noticed that a lot of U.S. people play fantasy American football. As a European, has somehow not noticed that an equally large number of people play fantasy football. Hmm. Also the reason why is quite literally the same as you have for any of the hobbies you enjoy. Because they like it and it can be sociable. Gambling. It's talked about more these days because of all the places doing online gambling also sponsoring. Or being owned by the corporations that own news organizations. Without the gambling angle, it is an awful lot of time and effort keeping track of player stats for the season that few people other than rabid sports fans would deal with. When did fantasy football start begin gaining popularity? I want the origin story. And why grown woe men are willing to dedicate hours of their life to it? Because it's a fun way to socialize with friends and enjoy sports at the same time. It makes the season more exciting because you're more engaged with it. It has become a massive moneymaker over the past decade plus and is pushed heavily by the major sports networks. Football is the most popular sport in the USA by a massive margin and there is a communal aspect to it as well for some. I loved away from my hometown 15 years ago but I'm still in the fantasy league my buddies and I started 20 years ago. Tons of work leagues as well. It's for people who suck at fantasy and football. One of my co-workers was giving me shit about playing D&D as he was flipping out cause his fantasy football team lost or something. American football is very boring if you want to enjoy watching it you have to have some skin in. The game many bet on the games. Many play fantasy football so they have some reason to watch. Why are they obsessed with it? Because they're a bunch of fucking dorks that want to feel superior to other dorks. Winning in fantasy football equates to absolutely zero non-fantasy life. Pencil-necked geeks. It's a way to be more engaged with the football season by trying to pick who's going to do well. And being rewarded when you're right. It encourages interest with teams other than the one you're primarily a fan of and makes the other. Games around the NFL more fun to watch because you have an emotional investment. It allows group socialization between friends at long distance without having to discuss anything meaningful about their lives. It's pretty much the ideal male relationship. Pro sports organizations collect and publish voluminous amounts of data during and after every game. Down to the individual player level. Obsessed men essentially say those stats that to play D&D with their own made-up teams. It's Dungeons and Dragons for those who thought DD was for dorks. Think about it. You build a party and have character sheets. Then you wait for some time and you get results. As time has passed, the NFL product has been diluted. The quality of players and the game in general has declined. So many players in awful legal trouble. Lots of franchises stuck in a hopeless swamp of failure. Plus the games are so drawn out with penalties. Reviews and gratuitous commercials it is hard to watch a single game. For me, gambling and fantasy is the last way to enjoy the game as a fan. I'm a guy in the US. And I find fantasy football cringe and boring. I'm just not interested. I die inside when another guy or gal try to talk about it to me. I just smile and nod until they're done. Most men think that they know about sports and know how to manage a football or an American football team. Running a fantasy football team allows them the power to choose how to run their fantasy team. The thing I don't understand is why Americans call it fantasy football. When it's really fantasy offensive players under 260 pounds. I want to go road 1 Aaron Donald. Road 2 Trent Williams. Road 3 Creed Humphrey. But fantasy football is just RBs. QBs and WRs. Most of the guys who play fantasy football were bullies in high school or were constantly looking. Down at the nerds. Who's the fucking nerd now?